Hello and welcome to this episode of Inspiring Conversations. My name is Michaela Bertilsson and I'm broadcasting this from Sweden. And today we have um, a guest with us, uh, Christine Williams from New Zealand. Hi. Uh, please tell me a little bit about your background, Christine. Hi, okay, Michaela. So I am a primary school teacher here in New Zealand and I've been teaching for quite some time here and I've been doing network marketing for just coming up to 12 months and I am, yeah, I'm living at, like I said, in Mount Maunganui in New Zealand and I'm enjoying, I'm totally enjoying this whole new business of becoming a network marketer. It's changing my life. In what way have it changed your life? I guess it's given me a, an amazing amount of belief, a self-belief and a confidence that um, before discovering network marketing, feeling like what is going on, this hard work that we do, the struggle to live day to day or week to week just to pay the bills, and then go back to work and repeat over just to survive until Fridays and really struggling financially um, and then going back to work and being under control of a boss started, you know, that, that a boss or a company or whatever started recognising that there was a huge amount of unsat unsatisfied people and I was one and thinking this is wrong, you know. And then since, and, and starting a search for something else. And so the reason why I love network marketing is it's actually made me realize that there is more out there and it's hugely satisfying. It takes away the, has the potential to take away all the things that uh, traditional jobs that I was involved in and people that I know um, it takes away all those disadvantages and puts in a lot of advantages. It's not easy, it's not a press button and you make the money, but it allows you to have a totally different attitude to life, that you can go out and get it. Hmm. So that is that is the thing that's changed my life. That's why I love it. Hmm. Yeah. But what made you uh, think about online uh, marketing? Uh, I mean, you, you had a profession in the teaching um area and um it's quite far from being online <laughs> yeah. and in marketing what oh, totally okay so so i guess that it was just a place that you hang out right whatever most people are hanging out on facebook or youtube or um instagram or twitter and you go on there to find whatever you want to find. So because I was feeling unhappy, of course, um, a lot of posts were coming up for me about feeling unhappy. And there was a lot of those just pop up pictures, you know, of um, this is, does, is this how you feel? You know, to have a picture of a dog just carked out on a, on a couch, you know, this is how I feel, or you're struggling to make it, you know, to Friday, you know, there was all those funny little posts and I'd be hearting and emojiing on those saying, yeah, yeah, that's me. I can barely, hey, I, I, I'm wondering what I'm doing here and all this. And there were teachers, you know, say, you know, posting things about how hard they work and how, how, what can, what can you do to help each other? Uh, you know, there was lots of that on Facebook and that's where I was, you know, um, posting and, and liking those things. So, so I started also searching on Facebook for what, what else is there? What can I do? Because I had, I had that question constantly and a lot of people that I worked with had that question. What else can we do? Oh, nothing. Couldn't think of a thing. <laughs> and, um, and so... And so I was searching, what other opportunities are there? And of course, lots and lots and lots of things come up. So, uh, so I just happened to click on um, a few, and a few of them really, really, I, I, I went along with, you know, and I, I started checking these people out. 
And I guess as a newbie of finding out what is network marketing, I was I was starting to find out what are these people doing? They they're like not they haven't got a job and they're and they're traveling and they're making money. What what is that? And I started to think, no, I, I was really doubtful and I would oh, here's another one, you know, and I'd start to check them out and I found out some I, because I'm in New Zealand, I wondered if it was people, people, you know, scamming. Mm -hmm. I, I just started to feel like I was a way out of it. I'm way down here, down the bottom of the world. <laughs> this is this is some scam. I, mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just felt that. So I one day I found a Kiwi guy who happens to be from my hometown here, mm -hmm. and he's doing this. So that was my first watching him, joining him, and watching what he did and learning from him. Then I noticed some other people. Oh, and their story. He was a young guy, right? Then I noticed some other people that came up, and their story was similar to mine. So I had a backstory of being unsatisfied and needing to change, and I met some people online who were the same age as me, who basically just went to went away on a holiday, came back, or on the day before they came back, found out their position had been chopped. Wow. But had worked there for years, was top in that job, or near top, held a held a reasonably top position, was doing really well, cut what the hell what did you do you know and I had a similar situation happen to me and so this person she, and so I was resonating towards people that were like me right I, I saw the Kiwi guy then I saw a woman similar age chopped job no more work mm. oh my goodness what and here she was doing so well making money traveling the world well that was my goal was to travel the world make money travel the world so, so, you know, I started seeing these people and then started, started joining, saying, well, I'll just see. I'll just join it, you know, here and I'll see what they're doing. So gradually it became a process of finding a group and finding people that are, you know, like me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so going from teaching to that, it was huge. Mm -hmm. But it was comforting too it was yeah. it was it made you feel made me feel oh yeah okay I'm not the only one mm. there's a lot of people doing yeah. this and feeling the same mm. um I have been following you um for a couple of months you know we we have uh, met um, yes <clears throat> And uh, one thing that I, I know that you have Facebook lives and you have a group now, a Facebook group. Yes, and I do. You're very active on Facebook. Yes. Dream team. Yeah. Yep. And also on um, YouTube, right? Yes. You yes, I do have a YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. Um, but what I've noticed is that you are saying a lot of times that you are learning about the online world. Um, and that you're not a guru and sort of want to inspire people. Um, mm. Is that a, a thought um, that you have yeah. to, to um, what should I say, to uh, be on the, an equal level uh, for new newbies that you can inspire. You only have to be one step ahead to inspire someone else, right? <laughs> totally, yes. I think that I want to be able to inspire people who are feeling like I was. So I don't feel that I have all the answers by any means. But I do know that having all the answers isn't what it's all about. Because I know people who have the answer to this problem or somebody else who has the answer to that problem. And I only know them because I've gone out and started becoming involved with them. They are my, I, I talk to these people every day. So where I say that I don't know all the answers, but I know somebody who does know all the answers, you know, or, I know, you know, I can help. And I'm a stepping stone. Um, to I want to be I want to be able to say to people who are struggling 
who are working really hard and, and are good people. They are trying their best. They are raising children or not. They are, have, have, have value in themselves and that, and that they are wanting to be, you know, to be productive in the world. They want to live purposeful lives, just like everybody. You want a life of purpose. You want a life where you actually achieve something, but and you want to be able to um, to get somewhere and, and reach some of your dreams, whatever they might be. And yet you're not. Mm. What What is life about if it's not for being for having some of those things? Yeah. So I want to be that person that says, "Look, I can help you because I have." Um, I have found, look, look at what I've done, mm. look at what I'm doing, and, and I can help. Yeah, and this yeah. is how, you, how I can help. Mm. Uh, but what I mean is that if you compare it to an um, offline profession, maybe yeah. you, if you're a teacher, for example, or a policeman, uh, you want to say that you're a good policeman or a good teacher, you're not saying I'm learning to be a good teacher, right? But when you're on, online, um, everything is happening so fast and a lot of changes and, and, well, you can't know all the platforms. So you have to know a certain topic of, of the online world. So in that regard, you have to be humble and, and say that you know people and, and you are not, yes. you, you don't know anything. And yes. You don't yes. know and that, everything. So. Yeah, and that might, that might sound a bit strange to people who have no idea about network marketing. I guess mm. um, that you that you're sort of admitting that you're not you're not the guru, and I don't want to ever be considered. That's not a thing at all, and I don't go for that sort of person at all. Mm. Um, so a leader, a leader is a person who who to me is able to inspire and help others, and and if they're struggling, you know, be able to support. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that a leader is, is the person who knows everything. And so it's a, quite a, you know, for those people who have never or, or are learning about network marketing or don't know anything very much about network marketing, it's a different mindset, isn't it? It's a huge community. Whereas, whereas in a traditional job, you can be a teacher and you're judged. You're judged every minute of the day by a million other people. You're judged by the children. You're judged by the parents. You're judged by um, a, 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 the Ministry of Education that is watching you. You're also judged um, by other teachers. So, and you judge yourself hugely. So you're doing that all the time. Now, there's lots of other professions out there, like you said, police policeman or woman or whatever you're judged all the time and you're kind of left on your own to do that and it's hard to understand but in network marketing and working online you are you are not judged for your uh, in that way you are not judged you are judged of the quality of the person that you are mm-hmm so you'd be a good person, you, you have good values, you have good morals, or you have a good um, community. So you get a good community around you. Yeah. You, learn to, you, learn to, you learn to stay away from, I can choose, you know, in the network marketing, I can choose who I want to be around. Mm -hmm. So in teaching, if I've got people I don't want to be around, I've got no choice. Mm -hmm. If I've got a boss I don't like, I've got no choice. I need the money. Mm -hmm. I need that boss. Mm -hmm. So in network marketing, I don't need to have people around me or I don't want to either but so I can choose I'll, I'll just grab and 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 start conversations and draw in people who are like-minded who want to use um and help and use value to help other people yeah so so that's huge mm. and it's a big mindset and it isn't Absolutely. so you go you so say you go and find a person who's made a million dollars online and therefore I'm going to hang out with them because that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be able to get anything of value from that person. It doesn't make them the person I want to be with. Mm. So, I, so it takes quite a lot of networking mm -hmm. and finding lots of people from all different places and countries and so on that are good people.
Yeah. Otherwise, we wouldn't have met. Look at us. We're in, you're in Sweden. Yeah. I'm in New Zealand. And it's exactly. like we've known each other for ages, right, Michaela? Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing um, just to connect with the other side of the world like this. It's, mm. um, yeah. Um, I was just going to ask you uh, a year ago, would you ever have thought that you would have the life that you have now and connecting with people around the world and sort of no, no, actually, self being in that place. Yeah. That was, that was my dream. And it's, it's, yeah, that's really good. I, when I think back to starting, I was in a bad place, really, really stressed um, and concerned about my future. So now I still have people around me who are stressed and worried about their future. I have those people around me, but I'm not drawn into that because I don't, I can see I'm moving out of, out of that stressful situation. And, 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 you know, people that are working in a system of, a, of being told, like I've, my colleagues, I've got, I've got many colleagues that are working today at Sunday here in New Zealand and I have got people who are at work now. They don't get paid to work now, but they're at work because they're un there's, a, there's a whole lot of stress happening in my workplace at the moment. They're at work. I'm here talking with you, and I've just gone for a walk on the beach, and I'm meeting some people for lunch soon. I've also got other friends that are in the same business of education, but yesterday they were at work on Saturday. Wow. I wasn't. I wasn't, I was chatting to a lot of people and I only do this now mm. uh, uh, I, because I've made some choices through this year, I've made some choices that has taken me, I've felt really confident. Last year I felt like I had to do what I was told to do by a boss. This year I have realized through learning network marketing and, and the mindset that I don't have to do anything I don't want to do and I've actually changed my whole job um yeah I've changed my whole job and I've said no to I've, I've had job offers that I've said no to I would never have said no to job offers last year but I've said yes to the ones that I want and I've held out I've said no I'm waiting the right one's going to come the right one's going to come the right wow. and it did wow. yeah so the confidence and the lack of stress and the feeling of possibilities and potential mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I feel now, the change in me. Mm. Just to make it clear for the viewers, um, you were in the position uh, when you were a teacher and um, you started with a uh, marketing online, but you didn't fully leave the, the teaching so you have a teaching job and your own line, setting up your business and getting yeah. it going. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's right. So I had a teaching job and then I, um, then, then just through a whole series of situations to do, not to do with me, mm -hmm. nothing to do with me, through a whole series of situations, my position at that school, just, well, one position at that school got cut and it happened to be mine. And I, it wasn't to do with me, but I was under control. So I, got, I lost my job. And I found another job. And I found out of that, got a really wonderful teaching job that was actually better than what I had. And I've still got that job now. Um, and so I still teach. And I network market. And I've got to say my, my focus is network marketing, which is quite hard to do when you're teaching as well. Mm -hmm. so, so it's great. But I can see, yeah, I can see huge potential. I want to leave. I don't ever want to be in a situation again where I'm under the control of somebody else. No. Because you have no control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's my, that's my, that was my kick in the butt. Yeah. Right. And Get every, out. Everything happens for a reason, they say. Yeah. Right? 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, I've seen a few, there's some awesome quotes about how, uh, about for people who, who feel like you can feel the, the, it's going to hit the fan any minute, you know, that something bad's going to happen and it happened. Yeah. Uh, and I had a couple of good quotes put to me a wee while ago. Shall I say them? Hmm? Yeah, shall I say them? One is a, a, they're quite different about about when you get in trouble, right? When 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 your life's starting to turn bad, right? Okay. And what, and what to do? And so it's, they're nothing bad, but they're quite funny. So one is one is um, by Mike Tyson. I don't know if you know Mike Tyson. He's not exactly a role model. He's a boxer, but he's got a he's got a reputation. So, yeah. but he he one of his quotes is um, so it's a boxing quote. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> I got punched in the mouth. I never want to get punched in the mouth. Mm. My plan was to just hold it together till Friday. Well, that's a crap plan. Mm. So I've changed my plan, right? Mm. So the other quote, which is completely different by a well-respected woman called Eleanor Roosevelt, mm. and I like her reputation. She has got a, she's got a very good role model. So she said... You, uh, women are like a tea bag. <laughs> women are like a tea bag. You never know how strong they are until you put them in hot water. Wow! And I thought that's good. <laughs> you don't know how strong you can be until you get put in hot water. And I got put in hot water. So you you build you get that strength about you, yeah. and you just do it. Mm. So I thought they were quite good quotes. <laughs> and sometimes you can amaze yourself uh, because you don't know how strong you are. So uh, mm. manage that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Michaela. You don't realize until you think, I'm not putting up with this crap anymore. Mm. What am I going to do? I know. I'll figure it out. I'll get a plan. I'll, somehow I'll figure it out. And you do. Yeah. Mm, amazing. Amazing conversations, Christine. <laughs> thank Thanks, you so Michaela. Much. Thank, thank you so much for um, being on this uh, call and talking to me. Lovely to be here and thank you for asking. Thank you. <laughs> and to all the viewers, uh, if you like to see more of these uh, episodes, uh, you can find the link below to uh, to uh, to see more, and you can subscribe. And if you like to uh, connect with Christine, you can have her link below as well. <laughs> so I hope to see you next time. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.